Good morning, everyone. We are ready for our second at-home art class. And today, the materials you are going to need are a uh, paper plate uh, for your paints, at least two pieces of paper, could be more, and a baggie, a Ziploc baggie. And we're going to continue with printmaking. Yesterday we printed with potatoes. Today we're going to print using this baggie. And I did go to Wegmans and they did have uh, tempera paint. So um, you might have that already at home, which is great. And or someone can maybe venture out and get some for you at Michael's or at Wegmans. So these are going to be out of the sight of the camera. I'm just going to set them over here and we're going to get started. So you're going to need a paintbrush also, I forgot to mention that. And printmaking is so much fun. Um, I suggested you have two papers, but you're probably going to want to do more. Um, so I'm just opening up the paint here to get ready. You're also going to need a piece of toweling to wipe your brush on. So I'm going to start. This is super easy. And I've got my brush and I'm just going to put out paints the color that I like. And I'm not, I don't have to do anything just yet. Now the one other thing I forgot to mention, and I do not have it in the video with me because I just remembered it, Q-tips. Those will be a wonderful thing to use during this video. So what I'm going to have to do, since I don't have a Q-tip, I'm going to have to use my finger. So you can use that too, but I know some of you don't like messy fingers. So I'm just painting. And you can see I'm mixed yellow and red, and I made some orange. Clean off my brush. I'm going to go in for some blue and I'm, I don't have anything in mind that I'm making, I'm just painting with colors. And let's see, this actually came with a purple, so I'm going to put some purple in there too. See what happens. Maybe some here. Now, like I said, the Q-tip would have been great if I had remembered to bring that down. You can use your finger. You can also use the back side of your paintbrush. So maybe, maybe I'm just going to scrape away and make some lines here. If I am going to draw with that Q-tip, and I'm using my finger, um, maybe just something like this. and just wipe my finger. And then I'm going to take one of my papers and since most of this baggie can fit this way, that's how I'm going to set it down. And then I'm just going to rub and this is the exciting part. You get to pull it up and see what comes out. Isn't that cool? So um, for those of you who have printed with me in the art room before, you know that we can also pull a ghost print. And we can use our second paper for that. But you can see how this is a little bit addicting. I don't think two papers are going to be enough. You're probably going to want to do more. So here's my ghost print. And that came out pretty good too. I'm going to set both of these aside. And I'm going to use another paper that I really wasn't prepared for, but I'm going to try again. And I'm going to use my, oh, I see papers that I have. Hold on. There, I did these earlier. So I did these, and you can see how they came out. Not too bad. So I'll set those aside, and I'm going to print on top of those. So I'm going to take some purple again. And you really don't have to clean off that baggie because if you do the ghost print, that takes away a lot of the paint from underneath. Now if you had bubble wrap, 
you could press bubble wrap into this and that's going to remove some of the color. I have, I happen to have one of my stamps, my potato stamps. Maybe I can press into that, see what happens. Maybe it doesn't look too exciting right now, but we'll see what the paper looks like. It's really just playing around. You just have to experiment and try on your own to see what happens. That off. You probably got rid of all your potatoes. Maybe you can go dig those out of the garbage. All right, let's see how this looks. I have more of my potatoes here. I guess I have this one here. Maybe I'll just do here, here, and then maybe here. And I'm going to take one of the papers that, nope, I'm going to take my ghost print. I'm going to take my ghost print here, and I'm going to flip this over. And I can do this because the ghost print dries pretty quickly. The one that I first did, I'll probably have to wait until that dries to print on top of it. All right. We're going to see this together, how good this came out, or, or not, I don't know. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool too. I like it. So what I want you to do is just make a number of these, um, these prints using the baggie, the Ziploc baggie, and save them because we're going to do things with them. You need to have at least two, but more is always better. Okay, so have fun, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.